Hi everyone, here we will demonstrate how Amplify MFT solution can help organizations mainstream their MFT needs by simpler automation and integration. Amplify MFT enables organizations to quickly innovate and push these solutions to market in a much shorter time using accelerators from the marketplace. Granular APIs enable features and functionalities to be automated and integrated easily into other systems and applications, including CI/CD tools, reporting, CRM, CSM solutions, removing repetitive and manual processes. From a single view, admin users can apply and enforce compliance, security measures across all file transfer flows and have an end-to-end -end view of transfers, proactively manage unexpected issues and further fine-tune existing MFT flows. If you look at common MFT implementations at large organizations, you will see multiple steps and departments involved in customer onboarding process, each with its internal set of requirements and processes. In a typical user scenario, Vendor management team would raise a request with IT. There may be some internal communications across the IT department. And finally, the request reaches MFT admin to manually provision the vendor's account. The sequence of the involvement of departments and business units may obviously vary, but this is a common practice across large organizations. And this process may take up to six to eight weeks to complete onboarding a single partner. With Amplify MFT, we can automate processes by integrating MFT manual processes and procedures into new and existing in-house or third-party applications, removing non-trivial processes and procedures. This helps deliver operational efficiency with consolidation, modernization, optimization, and cost reduction of services. A quick look into the current list of secure transport APIs. You will see they are quite granular. And what we have is two sets of APIs. So we are looking at the administration APIs. As you can see, the API documentation provides all the information that's required, as well as being able to test the APIs directly from the documentation. So it makes it a lot easier and quicker to test the APIs provided. Now we can have a quick look at the end user APIs. As you can see, it is a smaller set of APIs, since we only provide limited access to end-user accounts, being able to see whether a file transfer was completed, or you want to be able to trigger to send file again. Let's have a snapshot of the components used to build the proof of concept that we have here. Then we can move on to the individual components, the products that we have used, and why they were included as part of our solution. We have our mobile application on the left, which has the three most common functionalities used and also requested by our clients to have as part of our uh, proof of concept. So they are onboarding an account, checking file transfer status, and also listing the files in the root directory of a client account. The role of the API gateway here is to orchestrate the API calls to the secure transport. But this is the top level view of the uh, onboard policy in the gateway. It is actually a slightly tedious process to onboard an account. However, Gateway allows us to create a simplified version of a complex operation. Each component of the policy can be reused, which makes it a lot easier to build more complex policies. You can add static values or conditional values to remove the need of application level logic or to prevent uh, policy duplication. Let's look at the normal account onboarding process using the user interface. So this is the user interface for Secure Transport. Um, basic onboarding requires an account creation. And if we just look at the accounts, these are the values. And it requires creating a transfer site, so we know where to fetch or send the files um, upon triggering an action. And then we have subscription. Now this is the map of our uh, mobile application flow. It demonstrates customer onboarding, showing the list of files under account root directory, and the log of file transfers, and individual file transfer details. 
Now let's move ahead and onboard two accounts as part of our demonstration. So we just have two accounts created here. Let's call it wholesale and retail. And let's put upload folder as the transfer site for our retail account. Now going back to the user interface, we should be able to see these two accounts created. Yes, um, we have those two accounts. Now looking at the retail, we want to also make sure the transfer site is created. Let's check the details of the transfer site as well. So all these values are predefined from the policy that we have created. Let's click on the subscription. Um, that's the right subscription. And yes, we have the upload folder automatically created there as well. Now, I guess what we need to do is just go into our web application um, and upload a file into the upload folder directory of the retail account. Okay, we just logged in. So this is our subscription folder. All we want to do is just copy a file into this folder. Now this should automatically transfer this file into the wholesale account. Now let's go have a look at the file tracking on the website. Now we can see the file was uploaded using the HTTP and then using SSH the file is transferred into the wholesale account. Now why don't we just use our mobile application to see if this was completed. Now looking as the wholesale, yes we can see the order.csv file is in account so we have received it. Now if we log in to our file transfer log history we should be able to see the file along with other file transfers that we have. Yes, we have the order.csv. If we click on that, we should be able to see the details of this particular um, trend file transfer. Customers are able to proactively access a lot of information directly from their mobile application. This could have been just integrated simply into a third party or a custom application as well.